finally decided to start my YouTube channel. Um, I kind of introduced this idea to my friends, um, my 11 new best friends, um, and they were all pretty supportive of it. I introduced it to them by um, kind of saying, or I mean asking permission um, to use their pictures because um, they're a group of super cool ladies. Um, and they all motivate their motivate me. Um, and so I was asking for their permission to use pictures and, you know, maybe talk about them a little bit and stuff. Um, so I thought this was a super good idea and I thought about all the things I was going to do and I kind of was using, um, my BYU, BYU pathway experience, um, for the channel and kind of the things I wanted to talk about. Morning, and I was like, mm, You really want to do that? I wasn't quite so excited about it anymore. anymore. Um, but I've had a few moments like that in my life where um, I get super excited about something, and by the time I sleep on it and wake up the next morning, I'm not, co I'm not so excited about it anymore. I call those my manic moments. Um, so, anyways, um, a few days, maybe a week or so goes by. one of my new 11 best friends you know who you are um and she asked me about it and i thought yeah i don't even know if i'm gonna do that anymore i was like okay, i told her you know how i have these manic moments and i get super excited about something and then you know decide not to do it and she talked to me about it for a little bit and kind of convinced me to do it again and I thought okay I will and I kind of told her a couple of things that um I thought were challenging about it um that I um like the video part <laughs> obviously I'm sitting here in my car um on the mountain all by myself so that I could um take this really high-tech video in my jeep um and let me show you I do have some high-tech equipment dog friend that holds my phone. Hello. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm moving on up in the world, but I don't have um, a lot of video experience or blogging or YouTube or any of that stuff. So I wasn't sure how to cut videos or how to post them or even start a YouTube channel. So um, she kind of helped me with some of that, which super grateful for. We'll see how it turns out. But um, so back to the point of all this, um, I started going um, to BYU Pathway. Um, so basically what you do there is you um, do a year in the Pathways program and then it goes on to BYU-Idaho. Um, you get credits the whole time and it's a really incredible, incredible um, program for people um, like me who have families and who are a little bit older, you can do it online at home. Um, it's really affordable. Um, initially, when I decided I was going to go back to school to get my management degree, I was going to go to, um, I think it might have been Steven Henniger or something. I just Googled something online. I was like, oh, I'm going to do this. And then my brother-in-law told me, ooh, not such a good idea. I don't know how well. Um, you want to think about um, how well the credits are going to transfer because you might not stay there for your whole degree or whatever. And, and it actually turned out to be super expensive. And I'm not sure even if that was the school. I just know it was something that I Googled online. And so then I decided uh, I'm in Cedar City, Utah. Go to SCU. It's a really good school. Um, and so I registered for fall semester. I got in. It's great. And then um, a person in my ward had talked to me about great idea it was um, more affordable um, it was something I could do online at home which between you know work and kids and, and everything else going on that would have fit into my life a lot better um, and so I looked into the BYU pathway program and it was super affordable um, my work gives us um, 
of a really awesome perk. They pay for um, about $3,500 a year. And those of you that are going to school <laughs> probably know that that is like a couple credits. You know, it's not going to get me real far in a year. Um, and on the BYU program, it was like just over $300 per semester, which I could pay out of my own pocket. And so that was really nice. Um, so that was one of the two big things. Um, the fact that I could do it at home and um, it fit my schedule better. And then the fact that um, I could afford to pay for it, whether, you know, my job was helping me or not. Um, in going through this program, I, I'm in my um, second semester. Um, my first semester went great. Um, um, in high school, I would say I wasn't the best student. Uh, um, maybe my, no, not maybe, I know. <laughs> my mind wasn't completely on my studies, um, and I kind of had a hard time with school. So um, I didn't know what to expect when I went back to school. Um, very excited to report that um, I had a 4.0 my first semester and obviously you know I'm not into the hardcore stuff yet it's a lot of reviewing you know which is beginning is I do expect it to get harder but hope that I can maintain pretty good grades um, the reason for this is I have learned and had so many awesome experiences through um, the pathway program that I thought it would be really cool to be able to share them. And through those experiences, I've had a lot of other experiences in my life that I thought would be really cool to share. And, um, and even thinking about that, I'm like, wow, you have a lot of really amazing, inspirational people around you. And I want to interview them and put them on um, this sort of blog or YouTube channel in the future, if they will so kindly let me. Um, so that's kind of where I'm going. That's kind of a, an opening to what I'm doing. Um, I kept waiting for like the perfect moment, you know, to start this. Like, you know, you got to have the perfect skin, the perfect hair, the perfect outfit, the, per the perfect place, the perfect setup. And obviously that was never going to happen. So this morning I went running my six, six miles and well, I'm in the same thing I wore running and um, it gave me a good opportunity to think about what I wanted to talk about, what I wanted to say, what I wanted to do with this, um, and just get it out there. I figured, you know, just start. Once you start, then, you know, you can get your thoughts more together and um, put it all together. So mainly my first um, video I wanted to be to introduce why I'm doing this um, and kind of what it's going to be. Um, I'd like to try and do weekly. If it ends up being more than weekly videos, great. If not, but that's that's just my goal for now. Um, yeah, I'm a lot, don't I? <laughs> so, yeah, there's take one in my most favorite place to be in Cedar City, Utah. Not really the bottom of Sea Hill. I'd like to be at the top, but the road was closed, so here I am. Um, Thanks for listening. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Um, my next segment, I'll kind of get into some of the experiences I've had with BYU Pathways and why I love it. Um, and later on, like I said, I'm going to be talking to some different people in my life and that I've met um, that have really inspired me, that have been through some things in their life that I mean, and coming out the other side and being super inspirational. Okay, sorry. I'm looking over here and there's a squirrel running around. And I think that's awesome. So um, I do have a little ADD. That whole squirrel thing, yeah, definitely just happened. Um, and that's why I'm here on the mountain is so I didn't have distractions, but obviously there's still going to be distractions. Anyways, thanks for listening. Um, look for my next post, vlog, blog. I don't know. I'm old. I'm crazy. Thanks for watching.